All right, uh, good afternoon, good evening, and whatever. This is KAAPUT in the house. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna take the Icon helmet, uh, Inky, and we're gonna take it on the highway and find out how noisy or whatever it can be on the highway. So, let's find out. Yeah, uh, small road, the typical back roads here in Okazaki City. Place where I work uh, is uh, kind of near to the toll road so i'm pretty lucky at this uh, place and the other places not that lucky but beggars can't be choosy work is work go to work you do your work you go home that's it and i take my work seriously people all right boys and girls we're about to take the highway uh, we call it the toll road here in japan and uh my trusty little bike here has a utc so Let's test this Icon Air Flight Inky helmet on the highway and see how it sounds like. Uh, I just want to see how much wind I can hear. Right now I have uh, Metallica playing in uh, the background in my helmet using my Bluetooth headset, which I'm using uh, as a free calm uh, T-Rex. Alright, here we go. We're about to hit the toll gates now. I'll just drop the gear a little bit more. Alright, some third gear should be good enough. Yeah, we're through. Yes, sir. All right, so we're getting, uh, we're going into the highway. Well, we're going into, we're in the transit area, what you call this, the entrance gate. All right, so far, we're on the fifth gear on the bike. Uh, I can hear a lot of uh, wind sound, wind noises coming in. Six, okay. Cruising at about 90 kilometers an hour right now. I can still hear, um, um, I can still hear Metallica at the back, but the wind noise is getting more. All right, so, yeah, it's quite windy today also. Usually this road is quite windy. Yeah, I feel my tires moving. It's quite windy today. But all in all, uh, I, I feel my head cool. I can feel the back of my head also cool. So I guess that's a bonus. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I got this helmet because uh, I want my head to be cool in the summer. And uh, it's really cool. I can feel really cool. Although I have my, uh, my, uh, the vents on my front is open to full. So um, I got full air coming into my mouth and uh, full air coming into the visor. So it basically defogs the visor at the same time. Off and all, I can say right now, it's pretty good. I'm not complaining. I like it. Is this... Uh, yeah, I guess the noise from the wind, that's about it. It, it, uh, it comes in. Well, other than that, it's comfortable. I mean, this helmet is really comfortable compared to the uh, Icon airframe that I have. Uh, the airframe was uh, a size smaller than this. I bought an L size. Uh, this one I'm wearing is an XL size, so it's much more comfortable for me. The L size was okay. I could put it on. It fits in nicely, but it's just a really, really tight fit. Uh, I did ask the shop, and the shop said that uh, probably the the padding inside has not been worn in yet. I guess so too. So I bought uh, a little bit slimmer thin pads, and it worked well. So. My green helmet is still good. I'm not saying it's not good. It's still fantastic. It's still great. I still use it when I can. I'm going to use that too. That was a very good helmet in the winter for me. It kept me really warm. And this helmet right now, which I'm wearing, the Airflight, is a fantastic helmet just for the hot seasons. I mean, you can use it for spring, summer. I'm not sure. Autumn, if you want, then you got to wear a hood. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just going to probably wear my uh, the green helmet uh, the green uh, uh, icon airframe um, basically for uh, autumn and winter and this helmet which I'm wearing now probably be good just for uh, summer and spring but then again I'm not sure I'm not gonna wear I might wear this helmet all the way through autumn and see how it goes if I feel too cold with it then I'll just change over to the other helmet. the only problem the, with the air, air airframe icon airframe helmet is it's just too tight with this uh, helmet that I'm wearing with this icon inky air flight helmet I got an XL size and I could put my uh, spectacles inside or glasses if you could tell what you prefer and it fits in just perfectly for a guy wearing glasses and uh if you're worried about the, the drop down visor it goes over the glasses fine not a problem at all and i i re recommend this for any of you guys who are wearing uh prescription lenses or glasses or spectacles whichever you want to call it it's a pretty good helmet um i have a it's quite long in the front here so i like it very much uh where my uh, uh, uh frame air frame was quite small 
it, it went really into my face so it's quite a little bit uh, not what I wanted but it does the job and I'm happy with that helmet I had it for a while and I still love it I'm still going to use it and of course my first helmet which I had until now which I've never ever sold or did anything was my Shoei Neotech yeah it's not the Neotech 2 it's the Shoei Neotech that's right the Neotech Shoei and uh, I got mine was the special edition color they only like made very limited edition color and I got that one it was pre-ordered at a shop it's brand new helmet and uh, uh it's a shop here in japan called shabon dama uh, it means uh, soap bubbles <laughs> all your money's go boop, 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 boop. yeah it's a uh, it's a shop here in it called uh, shabon dama and that's where i got my helmet uh they are a certified show and i think ri too i'm not sure but yeah they're certified showy so they'll take measurements of your head and get the proper measurements and then they will choose the proper helmet for you so any beginner riders new riders and uh you want to get a helmet don't skimp off man go get yourself a very nice good helmet because uh don't go off and uh, trust me i've gone through a lot of helmets my friends told me not to but you know reluctantly i'm a new rider and i just wanted some cool helmets and i ended up suffering with them wasting tons of money on stupid helmets and then now i just buy the good ones the proper ones save up and buy a good one the first one you want to invest is your first helmet now my first helmet i still have it with me and I I still use it and ride with it i mean don't don't say anything i still have it yeah because i love the helmet it's my first helmet it still works it's a showy man and it works really fine so i still have it and i still use it once in a while but when it comes to summer god damn that thing is so freaking heavy it's heavy and it's hot as hell so i need something breathable and uh as you can see the roads right now which i'm taking uh, according to the weather report it said it's about 28 degrees celsius and that's what it says but the real feel is about 34 35 degrees celsius and now on the highway plus another two that's 36 but yeah that's it so i'm gonna be using my camel bag soon tomorrow i'm gonna go wash it up tonight and get it ready and use it tomorrow well as for my review of the icon airflight inky one of the version i got uh I, all of, like i say on the highway is good i mean you see my head moving and uh because i have my gopro mounted in front it um, it's good because i'm seriously it doesn't drag there's no drag i don't feel it bunching anything up and it's just perfect i hope the footage comes out good because i don't know yet this will be the second video of uh the inky helmet so i hope you guys watch it other than that this is a great helmet for guys who have spectacles and you want to wear any of the icon helmets are good but I'd recommend you to go to the shop and try it on first. Now, uh, from my point of view, what I did was uh, I measured my head and I know it was an L size. But I got myself an XL because uh, I'm a pretty big chubby guy. And that was good because it fit perfectly. So if you are not as chubby as I am, then go ahead, get your, your correct size. But if you think just you want to be safe and feel comfortable and, uh, you know, like I did, uh, what I did the first time I, I bought the helmet was I, I followed the exact size and I ended up suffering because it was tight, tight as hell. It, it's like really hard to put it on and take it off. But now it's getting a little bit easier. It's been worn in. But if you guys uh, want to go off start, just get, go and measure your head and do your own estimation. If you have an Icon retail shop nearby you, uh, in whichever country you are in Japan there's one and if you're other countries I'm not so sure, sure go there and try it on I, they have they would love it so much if you come in and try it on the shape of the helmet is different than other shapes so that's something you have to look into when you're getting a helmet always remember different helmets have different kind of shapes oval shape and all that kind of whatever what you call it, call it I have no idea seriously i'm not a professional i just uh this is my point of view all right guys uh well that's all i'm gonna say right now i hope you all enjoyed the video and my review on this helmet two times i mean i'd i'd get another one if i could if i had the cash so i hope you guys enjoyed it and like it very much it's a good helmet for guys for anybody wearing spectacles a good helmet on the highway you got a little noise but if you can put on a, a Bluetooth uh, uh, communication inside your helmet and uh, put on music, it should.
be bearable. I mean, I'm bearing it. I love it. Uh, other than that, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Later. Peace. This is KAAPET saying peace. Later.